During the 2008 Wenchuan earthquake, ground stations in the region lost communications with the outside world. The rescue forces utilized the Beidou Navigation Satellite System to determine the extent of the disaster and support rescue operations, buying precious time for countless lives. China has many satellites like Beidou in space. These satellites have played a decisive role in the nation's economic development and in rendering services to the public. In 1970, China made its aerospace debut with the launch of its first satellite, Dongfang Hong-1. The deployment of Beidou, one of the world's four major navigation systems, is of great importance to China. Currently, 48 satellites have been successfully launched. The Beidou 3 system is expected to be fully deployed by the end of 2020, providing global navigation services. The growing demand for GPS services has led to increased precision. In remote areas, these systems are like lighthouses, ensuring people's safety and guiding them home. The short message service is unique to Beidou navigation system. In the past, when Chinese fishermen lost ground signal in a storm, they would be unable to call for help with their lives in jeopardy. Now they can use Beidou's short message service to send an SOS signal and location while waiting for help. In the future, this service can be applied to international rescue operations, where the positioning accuracy will be within 0.5 meters. As of April of 2019, the Beidou system has been implemented in more than 6.2 million service vehicles, 30,000 postal and delivery vehicles, roughly 80,000 buses in 36 cities, and more than 2,900 maritime navigation facilities. China has therefore built the large dynamic monitoring system in the world, greatly improving the efficiency of vehicle management as well as safety in ground transportation. The Fengyun series of meteorological satellites are equally important. In the Pearl River Delta, they provide the data support necessary for air pollution control. In the Huanghuai region, they monitor the growth of wheat, improving crop production. In Gansu province, they monitor glaciers and the snow line of the Qilian Mountains in real time. Currently, eight fully functioning Fengyun satellites are in orbit. The World Meteorological Organization has included Fengyun series as a major part of the Global Earth Observation System. Satellite communication is being integrated into daily life. Regardless of their location, people enjoy live streams in higher definition. Residents in remote areas need their network speed to be as fast as in the cities. China expects its super Wi-Fi to reach global coverage by 2022, when people will be able to enjoy internet service from any location. From Dongfang Hong-1 to today's network, China has deployed many satellites for use in Earth observation, communication, and navigation. Chinese satellites are serving people's modern needs, and distance is no longer a problem.